asset management deals like the, the Janice Henderson one, the Standard Life Aberdeen, they've improved the shares of the companies. What happens here? Does it do the same? Yeah, well, so uh, those deals have struggled a bit, right? I think when you're trying to build scale, uh, there can be some hiccups in terms of adding two companies together and forming them together. Invesco thinks this is going to be different. And part of that is the structure of the deal. They're not... Um, in, in the terms of the deal, Mass Mutual will actually become a shareholder in Invesco. And so Invesco, when we talked to the CEOs this morning, they were pretty adamant, you know, this is a partnership. They're going to work together and they want Mass Mutual to still sort of be, you know, kind of a, a partner with this. And I think it'll be interesting to see if um, they pointed to their track record in deals, Invesco did, um, in terms of how they've been able to handle deals in the past. And so we'll see, you know, it'll be interesting to see if it will um, actually fully sustain and kind of improve these sh shares like it's done today or or if it'll be one of those challenges of combining two large firms. Mm. Catherine, I, talking to people involved in some of those other deals, culture was one of the big factors. I, you talk about these guys. Um, d did they feel like from a cultural point of view they were on the same page? To an extent. Um, I think they, they said it's still early days in terms of how they're going to structure this combination, right? They're not, they weren't quite sure about whether they're going to sort of fully integrate it or if it's going to be kind of a standalone thing, which makes sense. The deal was just signed this morning. Um, but I think they do talk about how Oppenheimer Funds is going to add a lot of active management, which is a bit different. Obviously, Invesco has grown so huge in the passive space. So in that way, you know, I think they are kind of adding more of a complementary thing instead of just sort of piling in on one particular area. Yes, why is this? Why is this the strategy that Martin Flanagan, investor or CEO, is taking? As you say, he's been more on the passive side and now suddenly he's going to have a bunch of active strategies to work with. I thought this was fascinating because we asked him, you know, why, you know, active management has been kind of in a secular just decline. Why are you really betting on it? And they pointed us to the fact that they think, you know, that we're piling too much into passive, frankly, that we're kind of investing way more in that when we should have more diversified um, sets of income. And I think it's kind of an interesting time to be saying that, right? Um, markets are a little more volatile. People are always kind of questioning when the end of the cycle is. And uh, for Invesco, they want to be ready to have all options for investors um, when that time comes.